Welcome to what I like to call affordable glamping. Around 5,000 pounds, this one's fully loaded with a big TV, massive fridge, and solid surface countertops. It has everything you want at a price you'll love. This is the 2025 Coleman Legacy 1905 RB. It comes in under 24 foot, a great rear bath floor plan with a king bed, theater seating directly across from a TV, a kitchen with an undermount stainless steel sink, air fryer, and tons of countertop space. And these huge countertops are all true solid surface. That is the best type of countertop to have in an RV. It's non-porous and easy to clean. Underneath, you will see massive storage. It's one of the great things about having big countertop space is you get big storage underneath. You have a bank of three full extension drawers in this bottom one. Take a look at that, that is super deep. If you wanna put like a roll of paper towel or something in there, it's deep enough, you can probably do it. And underneath the sink, you have space for a trash can. I love when manufacturers think that through. I think that's, uh, again, just super important. You'll also see the undermount stainless steel bowl it is a single bowl, high rise pull out faucet, three burner recessed cooktop, and underneath that, this is going to be your convection microwave oven. If we take a look up top, 50 inch TV in here. That's massive. That's something you almost never find in a floor plan like this. And I think that is spectacular storage all the way across the top. You will see that it also has glass inserts and it's nice and bright in this kitchen, not only because the LED lights on the ceiling, but because we have these strip lights underneath the cabinets and we have two large windows bringing in a lot of natural light. And then right across the way in the slide is the 16 cubic foot refrigerator. Folks, to have that in a travel trailer this size is almost unheard of. Even, you know, going from gas absorption to the 12 volt, we'll normally see an eight to 10 cubic foot. Having a 16 cubic foot is mind blowing. It's something you would normally find in a fifth wheel, but instead we have it in a travel trailer. And as for entertainment, right across from that huge 50 inch TV, is theater seating. This is the best seating you can have in a couple's coach. Super comfortable, armrests in the middle, or rather uh, cup holders in the armrest in the middle. You have a spot to store a remote, and it is a wall hugger. So if you want to kick back and relax, you can do so and enjoy the game. The bathroom features a largest in-class shower, taller than normal medicine cabinet, extended porcelain bowl with slow close seat, and an additional wardrobe. As for the bathroom, you can see I have plenty of leg room, great shoulder space as well. I'm about six foot, 200 pounds, and I have no issues whatsoever. But my favorite thing about this toilet is the fact not only it's porcelain, but it's an extended bowl. That's something you almost never see in an RV. Plus, you have a slow closed toilet seat. Don't have to worry about that slamming in the middle of the night. I have that at home and I love having it in an RV. The shower in here as well is incredible. This is one of the biggest you will find in a travel trailer this size. I can fully turn sideways in here and have no issues. Plus it has a built-in door so I don't have a curtain that I'm fighting with and getting water all over the floor. The skylight is also massive. Look at the size of this. It doesn't matter where I stand in the shower. At six foot tall, I can easily stand in here. I have the Oxygenics shower head, which is going to be improved. has a couple different modes in there. You have a shelf built in here as well. And then when we step out, I have a big mirrored metal cabinet this is taller than normal as well so you get a little bit more storage space built-in towel bar here and over to the side you have this big wardrobe for plenty of hanging space i also want to point out you have a full privacy door in the bathroom that's something you normally don't find a lot of times you'll have a big gap up here which I will never understand. It's something I never want. And the chances are because they have to get cold air in, but again, because it's ducted, you don't have to worry about that. Also, you will see a 14 inch four speed vent fan in here. Instead of, you know, what in the industry we normally call a fart fan, it's that little tiny guy. This right here will do some work. And not only do you have one in the bathroom, you also have one right out here in the kitchen. But a big shower, big fridge, and big TV aren't the only big things in here. You also get 
a big bed. This is a 70 by 80 inch king size bed in the 1905. You have nightstands on both sides with USB ports. And if you notice the electrical outlets, those are pre-wired for an inverter. So if you do upgrade to the inverter, then everything in here well, for the most part will have the inverted outlets so you can run them no matter where you're at. You will also see wardrobes on both sides. They are mirrored, good storage there. Additional storage across the top. Not only do you have the glass inserts there, but those are also strut supported so you can lift them up with one hand. And if you need some additional storage, take a look at this. A, you have this storage right underneath the bed so you can store your table there. How convenient is that? That way you can set it up right the theater seats and have a table. And then underneath you get this other massive storage area. If you want, you can use it for shoes, you can use it for a dirty laundry basket, whatever you want. But there is just storage galore in an RV this size. As for weights, the 1905 is right around 5,000 pounds dry. And for GVWR, you're looking at 7,600 pounds. Now on the front, we have some pretty great features. One of them, although it's really minor, I love, and that is this right here. They give you a spot to store your seven-way plug as well as your chains. And I think this is super convenient. I like they put it on there. Again, sometimes for me, it's just the small things that really start to add up. You also see a power tongue jack straight from the manufacturer, so you don't have to worry about installing one later you also have two 20 pound propane tanks on here with a cover then as we take a look a little bit further back there's a couple things here i really like one is the oversized battery tray that is a huge tray that allows you to easily store two batteries in fact it's big enough that if you want to upgrade to lithium later on there's actually enough storage space there uh, and you will also see right back here you have solar prep now that's going to be like your portable plug and play your briefcase style so you can just plug it in and go you will also see your 12 volt distribution box and that has a built-in battery disconnect. I love that distribution box. It takes all of those cables and simplifies it into just two. And I think it just makes uh, connecting and disconnecting with the battery so much simpler. Then at the front, you will see that gorgeous front cap on there. I think they did a wonderful job. You also see the LED lights, kind of like the diffused LED. I see a lot of manufacturers starting to go that way this year, and I think it's a great look. And Coleman did as well. As for pass-through storage, you will see how big the door is on on this side this actually allows for a full-size cooler to fit in here and again you can see that it is just kind of uh nice and big all the way through until you get to that very other side the lights are all led so you're not gonna have to change the bulbs nearly as often and as for stabilizer jacks you will see that they are powered you have one control for the front two here another control in the back for the rear two this coach will have a 16 foot power awning with an LED strip, massive power awning on there. So you get shade no matter where you are. You have the black glass door with the legacy down the side. I think it's really sharp, looks great. Uh, the other thing I really like about it is because the tint, you actually don't even notice that there is a window here, but there is, that lets a lot of natural light in. And that is uh, thin shade prep. So if you want like a little bit of privacy, you can have that installed. It's super simple to do that. It also has the bigger steps, the Lippert solid steps on here. This top step is larger than normal, so it kind of acts as a landing pad when you're coming out of the RV. It's also better for doggos, so it makes it nice and easy for them to get in and out of the RV. And you have a foldable grab handle, which helps you get in and out of the RV. You'll see a couple outside speakers here. So this one has outside speakers and inside speakers. It's Bluetooth controlled all by the same system. Um, you will have the uh, zone A, zone B, and the TV all through that one system. You also see that this one has TV hookup outside in the event that you want to hook up a TV. A little more rare, you will see this one also has outside shower on the campsite. That has hot and cold access. Uh, sometimes this is great to have just because it is so much more convenient to access that. Dropping down below, a couple other things. You will see aluminum rims on here, which are wonderful. Not only do they look nicer, but they will continue to do so because they're not going to rust. You also have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, which will keep things warmer in the cold season, keep road grime out, and hopefully rodents too. And you will see there is a propane quick connect. So this kind of gives you that feeling of an outside kitchen. You have water access. You have the propane for cooking, all that right back here. Um, and, and again, just kind of tucked away. You will see in the back is going to be that square tubular bumper attached to that is a spare. This is standard. I really like when manufacturers add a spare for that added peace of mind. If you take a look up top, you will see right in the center is backup camera prep. So you can just plug and play and install a backup camera if you want one. It also has the lipper on the go uh, ladder prep. So you can buy a telescoping ladder to be able to climb up onto the fully walkable roof. 
This one also, the back wall is laminated, are, uh, as are the side walls. So excellent exterior construction on the Legacy. 30 amp detachable power cord will be right here. Cable inlet right next to that. Down underneath, you will see the termination. Sorry, they're a little bit dirty. <laughs> this did have to travel to get here, but that is going to be uh, your gray and black tank valves. And then up front, a few other things I want to show you. You will see your tankless water heater on this one so that you have, kind of like it says, endless hot water. And gone are the days of the five-minute shower. You'll see your fresh water inlet, city water inlet, black tank flush here as well. Then if you take a look inside here, you'll see a couple other things in the pass-through. One of them being your 30-amp solar charge controller. The Legacy comes standard with that and a 220-watt solar panel, which is fantastic. You'll also see that black box over to the side that is going to be the inverter prep so again if you want that inverter you want those inverted outlets you can have that installed super easily folks and what this thing weighs and the features it has i mean you get that 16 cubic foot fridge you're getting the 50 inch tv the king bed that elongated toilet with slow clothes i haven't seen anywhere else i mean you have the the huge shower solid surface countertops all uh, laminated exterior and at the price that you can pick this thing up for, this is an absolute killer deal.